good here. 1v1 Calderas Refinery Blue side. Vindicate X as a force commander. Mainly offensive melee. Pretty versatile though. Can buff his marines and so on. Ultramarines DLC. And red side we have Holy Hammer as a Chaos Lord. Very tough melee commander. Bashes through cover. Collapsing an entire tower thing there. And cannot be suppressed. Northern VP here, natural for Holy Hammer. They go north to south. South, natural for Vindicate X. And the central VP. We have a bunch of scouts from Vindicate X. Will we see snipers? We have triple scout opening. Holy Hammer goes for Chaos Space Marines into some more heretics. Heavy ranged infantry that are pretty good in melee. Heretics are going to be key, I think. Supporting the Chaos Lord at the right time with worship and getting in amongst these scouts. Chaos Lord goes centre. Force Commander comes to meet him. Is he going to engage? He is. Chaos Lord stops the cap. Here come some scouts for support. Chaos Lord has no support. Once he sees all three scout squads, he might go for a combi flamer. Bring forth the artificer's armor. Artificial armor on the way for the Force Commander straight off. Chaos Lord spent a lot of time running around aimlessly and has lost quite a lot of health. Thanks to the Force Commander. Now has triple scouts on him. All battle cry buffed. Killed a weak. And then a retreat. Strange engagement for Holy Hammer. Artificia bringing the Force Commander up to 1020 HP. So he's got more HP than the Curse Lord now. And more health regen. Chasing around some Curse Space Marines. I'm just going to walk back to base. Can he get a model lost? No. Now they can turn and shoot him up with the Bolters. Havoc's on the way for Holy Hammer. He spotted those triple scouts. Force Commander getting a bit low and needs to retreat. On the east side of Heretics, up against three scout squads. They get a Doom Blast. Try to melee, but are going to be forced off here and are. Only lost two units, two models even. 480, 490 early on. A 2 to 1 for Vindicate X. Cal Space Marines coming centre to cap. The danger for Vindicate X, of course, is if Holy Hammer can get a quick Blood Crusher out. Catch him off guard. But we do have Assault Marines on the way for Vindicate X. No upgrades for any of the scouts yet. They are trying to defend their power against heretics. Can the heretics take out the node? Scouts are repairing it and shooting at the same time. Heretics take it out though. Don't try and decap. They get a Doom Blast off. They have their aspiring champions, so these heretics will be very dangerous in melee to use scouts or indeed anything. Vindicate, Vindicate X can put out in tier 1. They will cause lots of problems to tactical marines and assault marines also. Down 3 members at the moment. Here comes the force commander back up to full health. Now suppressed by that havoc. Has his iron halo. Here are the assault marines. Jumping in. Disrupting the havoc. Scales Lord turns to engage. Here comes some heretics. Other heretic squad forced off. Assault Marines a bit isolated, might need to jump out here. Here comes the Force Commander. Havoc's gonna set up in their face, but they jump him just far enough away to be able to jump him there, I think. Assault Marines lose one model, or they lose another. No. Force Commander trying to tank this Havoc and does so thanks to his shield. Suppression teams, of course, do more damage the closer you get. It's a 2 to 1 for Holy Hammer. Excellent Force Commander usage here by Vindicate X being very aggressive, loading him up with War Gear, Artificia, and Iron Halo to make him tougher. No sign of anything for the Chaos Lord. Havoc's forced off in the end by Scouts trying to karate kick him. Heretic's down to just two models, need to get out of there. This Force Commander is running riot here.
now in melee with the Chaos Lord. Puts up his shield. Scout support in. Here comes some heretics though. And force plunder retreats. CSM trying to force melee but not able to get there in time. Might see Holy Hammer go for the Mantle of Hate to try and counter the Force Commander himself. We will see. Here come the Aspiring Champion Heretics and the Havocs. Both Heretic squads, in fact, are Aspiring Champion Heretics. Without Devastators for Vindicate X, you could pretty much go double Aspiring Champion Heretics and be pretty effective. If he got triple shotgun, so it wouldn't be as effective. Still no sign of any upgrades for these scouts though. Just using them for match control and harassment at the moment. Curse Lord down to 235 HP. Assault Marines in melee with Heretics. Force Commander helping out with a battle cry. You can see the yellow circle below these Assault Marines and this might be a dead Heretic squad. Assault Marines might jump after them, finish off this aspiring champion and that lone heretic. Can they do it? Surely. 15 HP that aspiring champion gets away. Unbelievable. Force Squad are forced off by CSM, Havocs, and Heretics. Assault Marines now trying to decap the middle. 368474. Holy Hammer goes tier 2 first. A quick blood crusher now could be really really painful got a couple of points on the west side uncapped in terms of power Bindic X looks like he's losing a generator lost the node before that holy hammer power untouched as far as I know we do see a sergeant on these scouts they lose three members though sergeant remains Grenade doesn't hit anything. Here come the Assault Marines back from Cap in the center. Jump the Havocs. Need support now. Here comes more Sergeant Scouts and that Force Commander. ASM getting very low on health. Managed to force off those Heretics though. With just their Aspiring Champion. Those two Heretics was, could bleed Holy Hammer quite a lot heading into Tier 2. Pretty nice grenade by Vindicate X. Sword of the Force Commander trying to get a model loss. I think if he had the Power Sword in Tier 1, he would have done a lot more damage. Obviously, going for a Thunder Hammer or Power Fist, though, which is understandable. Two very nice weapons. Blood Crusher is on the way for Holy Hammer. Really needs to make this guy count. Halfway there, Vindicate X is halfway to Tier 2. Doesn't have tactical marine so he just can't get a missile launcher could get a power fist of course and melt a bomb on these assault marines which would be more than enough to take out a blood crusher 367388 here come the heretics and havocs first lord down to 200 hp thereabouts force squad are trying to take him out being very cheeky Havoc setting up right in his face and he retreats. Should have pulled back there I think regrouped with these guys coming out. Now he's going to have to wait for the Force Commander to get back to base to bring him out again. Blood Crusher on the field, a demon with vehicle armor, fights melee pretty quick but not the toughest thing. If you get an early one though you can cause a lot of damage if you use it well especially if you worship it and he has two heretics to do that. Grenade on those Havocs, very nicely placed. Doesn't take any out, but took a lot of damage. Curse Lord is gonna die, is he? 25 HP gets away. Thanks to the Blood Crusher. Havocs staying in the field set up. Devastators for Vindicate X, and they're getting a last cannon. That Blood Crusher is gonna take a lot of damage from that thing, it's setting up to will do a lot of damage and snare that blood crusher and there you see it outside of the firing arc still got hit did about a quarter of its health with one shot might want a librarian to support that thing 
Havoc sitting up on the scouts, trying to get out of the firing arc, and they do so. Scouts ready. Too bad they didn't have a grenade to throw there. Holy Hammer coming over to the east side to deal with these scouts. Blood Crusher on the Vindicator needs to pull him out. If this Blood Crusher charges him, there could be a dead scout squad, but he gets a sink kill there. And here comes the rest of the scouts, both with sergeants. Havoc sets up. You see the range that it can suppress from. Power Fist on that Force Commander now. Blood Crusher taking less cannon hits. 323, 369, very close. Salt Marines jump in, Havocs might be dead. Heretics there to save them just with a Doom Blast, suppressing those Assault Marines. They're taking a lot of damage now and need to retreat. Very nice grenade. Here comes the Blood Crusher. Las Cannon still getting hits on it. You see Corn Worship though, boosting the speed of the Blood Crusher as well as healing it up and boosting its energy regen. Demonic Roar forces the Force Commander off momentarily. Heretics trying to tie up that last kind of but they're forced off. No grenade on retreat. Must be in cooldown. Chaos Lord in single combat with the Force Commander. We do see Mantle of Hate to try and negate and take out that Force Commander. It drains life. It doesn't actually drain that much life. The utility of it comes from the fact that you completely di disable the unit that you're draining life from. So if you can do that, get the Blood Crusher in and some Heretics. That Force one is going to be in trouble. Here come the Havocs. What are they doing? A bit confused. Here they come. We see Mark of Corn CSM obviously wants to drain life the Force Command and get these guys into combat. Also has some Blood Letters. Good grief. These are pretty high damage melee infantry could do good damage to all targets with their swords from the warp. Demons, so they will benefit from worship greatly. Heretic's going to try and take out this lone scout. He's not going to finish that cap. Assault Marines to the rescue. They have their sergeant now, so they are a lot better in melee combat. But here come the blood letters teleporting in. In amongst these Assault Marines, Assault Marines very isolated scout is going to die I think. No, nothing engaged it. They're concentrating on these Assault Marines. A lot of melee for Holy Hammer. Might be looking to use Bloodlust. He has two Aspiring Champion Heretics, Blood Crusher, Corn Marines and Bloodletters. That's an insane melee force. Force Commander's tanking them all right now. And levels up to three. Over 1100 hit points. He is forced to retreat in the end. I don't think they're going to take him out. Maybe the blood letters if they teleport again. But they're not. No charge either. Could have taken out the force commander there. Two to one for Holy Hammer. Eastern power uncapped. Holy Hammer has the west. Is he going to try and hit power now? Librarian on the field for Vindicate X. Support sub commander for. Space Marines has a bunch of support spells. Does start with Smite though, which is a very nice offensive spell. Not too bad in melee with that power sword either. These heretics need to run. They finish the cap and then run. Here comes the Blood Crusher. Scouts can do nothing to a vehicle. Here's the Librarian. Can also not do much to a vehicle. Lone Scout here, he's not reinforcing it, just using it to harass and cap. Trying to decap this victory point. Here come Blood Letters, it's a dead scout. Or is it? Very odd. Two of them teleported in, two of them didn't, and the scout gets away. Here comes Vindica X. This is going to be a big engagement now. Drain life on the Librarian. Nothing there to damage it. Tome of Time purchased, and we see Veil of Time on that last cannon. Assault Marines being amongst some heretics in a bit of trouble there. Blood Crusher and heretics on them. Here come the Blood Letters. Holy Hammer's Natural still uncapped. Assault Marines get away with two members. 
course, Connor doing a lot of damage to that curse lord. He might go down here, gets a kill the week off, and it saves him. This is a good engagement for Vindicate X. These double scouts really helping him. Blood Crusher dies, goes back to the warp. Blood letters phase out so they can just walk away. Take no damage while well phased out. Ouch, very nice smite. Heretics go with three members. Vindicate X might be able to cap. Holy Hammer's natural, perhaps not. Here come Havocs. And Blood Letters are now under worship in melee with a Force Commander. This Force Commander's beastly. He's under Havoc fire, under worshipped Blood Letters melee, and is still owning. Took up two Blood Letters there. Finally runs away. Has Veil of Time on him, too. That was a really good. Engagement for Vindicate X. Pushed back Holy Hammer and capped the middle. One nine one three four one. Vindicate X still has a bit of catching up to do. At the moment has a double. I think Holy Hammer should have given these guys Mark of Zinch. He has so much melee that his engagements just become muddled and can't get units into melee because there's too many. Some nice inferno bolts firing in from afar would have been really good. Would also give the force commander a reason to retreat while being drained life. At the moment has no reason to retreat since he'll take more damage from melee attacks and pretty much everything Holy Hammer has is melee. If he had Inferno Vault shooting at him, he'd have a reason to retreat to reduce that damage and then take more from melee. Here's a very nice grenade on those corner CSM. Heretics catch them though. Doom Blast. Shotgun Blast and they should get away level 2. Scouts ready. Ready to serve. The enemy engages us in close assault. Heretics Doom Blast was wasted. Might be able to finish off this scout. No, the heretics didn't attack. Engagement in the middle again. Assault marines jump the havocs and take them out. Force one is going to die surely. No, just survives the drain life. Survives all of this stuff. Trying to attack and puts his shield up. They can't all get into melee at once. It's too many melee units. Blood let us phase out. Should have put. The blood letters or the corner CSM onto those ASM and put the other onto the force commander. Holy Hammer's gonna complain about the force commander yet. Just the bad management of his units. I don't think you can blame the force commander's toughness there. I mean, he's, he's put a lot of resources into this guy and got him to level 4. Chaos Predator on the way for Holy Hammer. Vindicate X, Vindicate X going for more assault marines. Last cannon is going to be forced off. Doesn't take it out though. Survives with one member. Should be able to get away now in full flight. Yes. Scout trying to take the middle. One, two, three, three, two, four. Holy Hammers lost a lot of staff here. Corner CSM, Heretics, and Bloodletters, and that is it. You see that Melter Pistol going off, that's the Aspiring Champion giving them a soft vehicle counter there. Here comes Vindicator X, has preserved these units very well. 1-2-1, one, 3-2-4 two, one, two, steel, or 1-1 one, one, Cat, Chaos Lord, abandons in the middle, too much stuff. Here comes Blood Letters. Where are his heretics? Back at base. Chaos Predator getting Mark of Corn, not sure how well this thing is going to do. Still have that last cannon around. Force Squadder still has his power fist too. And a Melter Bomb, yes. 2 to 1 for Vindicate X. Blood Letters teleporting in. Drain onto the scouts. Drain life on the Force Squadder again. You can see it doesn't do much damage, but we do have Corn and CSM attacking at the same time, but they're forced off by the Librarian. Melter Bomb on the Chaos Predator. What are the heretics doing? Constant parting issues with that 
Predator and they couldn't get into the engagement there. Now they are, but it's very, very late. A double for Vindicate X. 1, 2, 1, 2, 8, 7. It's going to be very tough for Holy Hammer to come back against a player of this caliber. Just had too many melee units, I think. All trying to take out the Force Commander at the same time. They couldn't all get into melee. Bloodlet is teleporting in on this Veil of Time Laz Cannon and it takes out the Chaos Predator, but I think he's going to lose it. And does. Veil of Time boosts speed, but it also means setup teams don't have to set up anymore. And it's a triple for Vindica X. Holy Hammer, I think, just really pissed off with the Force Commander sends everything into melee with him. There's a smite. Force Commander really powerful when he's got all this war gear. And he's running right here. These Bloodletters and Corn Marines have nothing to say. And Holy Hammer has just lost his entire army pretty much. And this is GG. Holy Hammer not happy. But when is he ever happy? And he's lost everything now. And concedes. Excellent play by Vindica X. No tactical marines used. You do not need tactical marines to win. There you go. Really excellent use of the Force Commander here. Powered up with full war gear. And got him to level 6 in a 1v1 which didn't last very long. Chess Lord only made it to level 2. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.